Welcome back. If you are experiencing long-term effects from COVID-19, you are not alone. While many have recovered in weeks or even days, for others, the road back to a normal life is taking much longer. Six News reporter Luke Snyder is here for you now with one Hazlitt woman's battle with COVID and the side effects she's still living with. They had to relearn everything. Swallowing, breathing. Donna Wiki came down with COVID-19 a little more than one year ago. It's a fight that put her on a ventilator, and today, the battle scars are still evident with every breath she takes. Walking to get the mail, which is not even 50 feet. By the time I do that and come back in, I have to rest. She's one of many people who are considered COVID-19 long haulers. It's something research scientists at Henry Ford Hospital, like Sarah Santa Rosa, are working to learn more about through what they call body maps. It's an art-based process for people to describe their long-suffering symptoms of COVID-19. Life-size um, artwork uh, where they've traced their bodies, they go through different exercises and sessions to flesh out um, this this artwork in terms of their life before, during, and after COVID. The patient-driven approach will help researchers at the hospital collect data to better understand what people are still going through today. Santa Rosa says some of the most common side effects are long-lasting fatigue, brain fog, anxiety, and respiratory challenges. We have a number of um, long haulers who are part of our group that, you know, need to use oxygen continuously at this point. Henry Ford Hospital has also established a recovery care program designed to help COVID-19 long haulers like Wiki, who has her first surgery to improve her breathing next week. Wiki says she understands there's a lot left for doctors to learn about the disease, but she's hopeful more research will lead to more answers. I've gotten worse and so I'm like, is there anything I can do? I'm willing to do it. Here for you in Hazlitt, Luke Snyder, 6 News. Mm.